Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Spoilers Agent Cates killed Austin Gatlin Holt GH, finally solves Wadunid as John exits. General Hospital GH Spoilers reveal that the show has an easy opportunity to finally give fans closure on an unsolved mystery. GH writers have never explained who killed Dr. Austin Gatlin Holt, Roger Howarth, and taunted Ava Jerome, Maura West, with disturbing messages in the aftermath, but they have the perfect solution right in front of them. Now that John Jagger Cates, Adam J. Harrington, has become such a monster, we have no problem buying that he pulled the trigger on Austin. That's especially true since the culprit was wearing shiny dress shoes like an FBI agent would wear. Ava was rattled after someone sent her photos of Austin's body, unsettling notes, and the murder weapon. John could have been the one playing twisted games and manipulating Ava, just like he's trying to manipulate Ava now. Perhaps Agent Cates always viewed Ava as someone he could eventually make his alley against Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, whether it was by choice or by coercion. Of course, we know Austin was killed before he could hand over proof against Cyrus Reynald, Jeff Kober. There was a time when it felt like John might have something to hide regarding Cyrus. Agent Cates once seemed on edge over Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, using Cyrus to pry info out of Philip O'Neill, Jeff Leaf at Pentonville. John may have gotten tangled up in a risky alliance with Cyrus, who could have been the one who originally supplied the mob meeting recording that incriminated Carly Spencer, Laura Wright. Agent Cates may have taken matters into his own hands to silence Austin as part of that Cyrus alliance. Anna suspects that Jack Brennan, Charles Mazur, might have leverage over John. So what if that involves Austin's grim fate? Does Brennan know that Agent Cates killed Austin? Regardless, it looks like John is on the verge of exiting GH, so the show might as well solve Austin's murder on Agent Cates' way out. Do you think John is responsible for Austin's demise? Will that crime be exposed before John exits the ABC soap? General Hospital spoilers say John will have to pay the price for all the lines he's crossed, so we'll bring you updates on any Austin-related news and predictions on whether justice will be served. In a shocking twist that shakes the very foundations of poor Charles, the long-awaited whodunit is finally resolved in General Hospital, as the mystery surrounding Austin Gatlin Holt's death reaches its dramatic conclusion. The culprit? None other than Agent Cates, a character who has walked a fine line between hero and villain, leaving viewers reeling as his true colors are revealed. The setup, suspicion, and deception. The death of Austin Gatlin Holt has haunted Port Charles for weeks. His sudden and brutal demise sent shockwaves through the town, leaving many questioning who could have possibly wanted the amiable doctor dead. As the investigation dragged on, suspicion fell on various residents, from known criminals to those with hidden motives. But as the clues slowly unraveled, they all pointed in a direction no one expected, Agent Cates. Agent John Cates had been a thorn in the side of the Corinthos family and other Port Charles residents since his arrival. His presence had initially been a source of intrigue, as he seemed to be a lawman with a dark edge, always one step ahead, playing a game only he understood. Yet despite his murky methods, there was an air of respectability about him, a belief that, at his core, he was a man driven by a sense of justice. However, as the investigation into Austin's death intensified, Agent Kate's demeanor began to change. His cool, collected exterior started to crack, revealing a man under immense pressure. Unbeknownst to many, Agent Cates was hiding a secret, one that had been festering for months. A deep-seated vendetta against Austin, rooted in a past that was only just coming to light. The motive, a dark past uncovered. As the investigation progressed, Sam McCall and Spinelli, 
whatever the persistent do, began to dig deeper into Kate's background. What they uncovered was a history that connected him to Austin in a way no one could have predicted. Years ago, Austin had been involved in a case that indirectly led to the downfall of Kate's brother, a disgraced surgeon whose career and life were ruined due to malpractice. The Kate's family had never forgiven Austin, even though he was merely a witness in the case, not the perpetrator. This grudge, buried deep within John Kate's, festered over the years, growing into an obsession. When Kate's learned that Austin was in Port Charles, the old wounds reopened. Under the guise of his duties, Kate's began to surveil Austin, initially out of curiosity, but this soon turned into a darker compulsion. He started to manipulate situations around Austin, creating tension in the doctor's life, pushing him into corners, all while maintaining his role as a dedicated agent. The final straw came when Austin unwittingly stumbled upon one of Kate's illicit activities. In a desperate bid to protect his career and keep his vendetta secret, Kate's made the fateful decision to silence Austin once and for all. The crime, the night of the murder. On the night of the murder, Kate's lured Austin to a secluded area under the pretense of needing his medical expertise for a confidential case. Trusting the agent, Austin agreed to meet, unaware that he was walking into a trap. As Austin arrived, Kate's confronted him, the weight of years of resentment and anger bubbling to the surface. Words were exchanged, and as Austin tried to reason with him, to understand why he was being targeted, Kate's lost control. In a fit of rage, Kate's attacked Austin, the confrontation turning violent. Austin, though strong, was caught off guard and Kate's, driven by a combination of fear and fury, overpowered him. In the struggle, Austin was fatally wounded, a blow to the head sealing his fate. Realizing what he had done, Kate's quickly staged the scene to look like a robbery gone wrong, hoping to throw off any suspicion. The revelation, a shocking confession. As the days passed, the guilt began to eat away at aging Kate's. Despite his best efforts to cover his tracks, the walls were closing in. Sam and Spinelli's investigation had unearthed too much, and the pressure from the authorities was mounting. Finally, in a moment of desperation, Kate's made a mistake. A slip of the tongue during an intense interrogation with Jordan Ashford, who had long suspected something was off about the agent. Jordan, quick on her feet, seized the opportunity. She cornered Kate's, presenting him with the evidence Sam and Spinelli had gathered. Realizing there was no way out, Cates broke down, confessing to the murder. His carefully constructed facade shattered as he revealed the truth, how years of hatred and a moment of uncontrolled anger had led him to kill Austin. The aftermath, justice and redemption. The fallout from Cates' confession sent shockwaves through Port Charles. The town, still reeling from Austin's death, now had to come to terms with the fact that a man sworn to uphold the law had betrayed that very oath. Cates was arrested, his career and life in ruins, but the questions remained, could there be any redemption for a man who had fallen so far? For those who knew Austin, the resolution of the case brought some closure, but it also left a deep sadness. Austin had been a good man, one who had tried to help others, and his death was a tragic reminder of how unresolved grievances and unchecked emotions could lead to devastating consequences. As for Agent Cates, his future is uncertain. Stripped of his badge, facing a lengthy prison sentence, and ostracized by those who once respected him, Cates must now confront the demons that led him down this dark path. Whether he will find redemption or spiral further into despair remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. Poor Charles will never forget the night Austin Gatlin Holt lost his life, nor the man who took it from him.